everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing your autumn prediction and this is just going to be general what's coming towards you and what you can look forward to so this is going to be from the 22nd of september to the 21st of december so i'm going to be looking to all four months as well and i also have a love version of this so if you want to check out the love version that the information will be down below for that so we have group number one group number two group three and group four and i'm also going to be putting some crystal cards onto the groups now Okay, so we have the groups on, we have group number one, two, three, and four, and let's get started in your autumnal prediction. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one, let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's happening for you guys from the 22nd of September to the 21st of December. So the first card out we have is Shungite. So Shungite is really good for the masculine energy. It's really good at bringing that intense energy into your life. I'm sorry if you hear creaking, that's my chair. And this is, this says anyone looking to get honest with themselves when it's time to reclaim your energy from wherever it's been and whomever it's been with, get real with your truth. So very much about your truth to do with yourself, what your energy is, who you are. And I feel like this period of autumnal time will be to do with kind of how it's affecting your energy and how it's kind of creating your life and how much energy you're putting into your energy. And yeah, that sort of stuff. Okay, so let's get uh, some more oracle cards. So we have peace. We also have Akasha. Beautiful. Okay, so let's look at these first. So your guidance is divinely guided. That's really, really beautiful. So I feel like for you, you are being guided. You are going to get peace from whatever you are struggling with. And I feel like this autumnal time is going to be very peaceful for you. I feel like you are discovering who you really are and it's enabling you to feel more peaceful with yourself and enabling to you to feel more at peace with who you are and kind of feeling like you have separation. So you're able to actually discern situations and not kind of get involved in them and the fact that it says it says your guidance is divinely guided it's basically saying that whatever you're doing it's always on the right track and you're never kind of lost with where you are even if you feel like you're lost you are never really lost okay so we're gonna have a look into the tarot in just a second first of all we're gonna look into each month so this is kind of like the general energy first and then we're gonna look into each month separately and we're just gonna have a little skim and see what is going on with each month. So let's put these over here. Alrighty, so this will be the rest of September. Oh, you guys are gonna be really, really busy. You guys are gonna be so, so busy. Okay, so first of all, massive Virgo energy. We do have this Virgo moon that is coming up, I think today when I'm actually doing this video. So there's an energy of like hard working, but also needing to slow down. Okay. So making sure that you are really looking after yourself and making sure you're not overdoing it in terms of your work. And especially with those of you who constantly keep working and forget that there are, are other things, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like you can kind of get too focused and also being in work too much is also distraction and also hearing distraction and detachment so making sure you're not feeling detached from your energy and making sure that work isn't a huge distraction but also I see you're going to be really busy with work really busy with your career or coursework or anything that you're doing say you're working at uni or college I really feel this is going to be like a massive shift for you in work and I feel like you're going to have a lot of orders if you work from home or you're going to be just be very very busy with working on your craft or getting a new ideas for hobbies as well and just feeling like you can really be fulfilled in in that sort of area of your life it just feels like there's just constant like go 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 you know and it feels very very positive Alrighty, so next month we have is october okay so you guys okay you guys are preparing for something i feel like the next card will be more of an action card because i feel like this is showing me that you guys have gone through a lot in the month of september and it could be emotionally as well you've kind of drained felt drained emotionally the oyster is all about something inside and i'm hearing the song um rhythm inside um and i'm i'm hearing the lyric that says rhythm inside that i can't slow down and i don't know who this is by i think it's by i've got a feeling it's by callum scott but i'm not sure hang on let me just have a look on my spotify have a quick look at the doo dah look at the doo dah when was the last when have i ever said look <laughs> look at the doo dah <laughs> okay okay so rhythm inside yeah it's by callum scott so that is a really good song for you guys. I'm going to just quickly look up the lyrics because I feel like it's going to be something in there for you guys. And there's a rhythm inside that I can't slow down. In this moment in time, no, I won't stop now. Give up my hands up for love. I love that. So I feel like it's you guys really 
just being prepared for your abundance that's coming and the the work that you're putting into in September is shifting you forward in this month and you're kind of having a more of a chill month in the month of October I feel like you're very much going inwards so in the month of October you might have quite uh dark dark days in terms of like the the seasons well my voice just cracked then the seasons it might be quite dark so it obviously depends where you are but you might have some quite like cold days and things but obviously we are getting into more of the uh, more into the autumn times here so you guys are really like working on something internally it's very like intense and this will be around libra to scorpio times this is very much to do with relationships and going inwards so it'll be more of like a waiting for that idea to come or just kind of holding on to things until you feel the need to release them but also it could be emotionally it could be in work it just feels like whatever is there there's something that you're waiting to release and it's also I feel like for some of you guys I'm hearing I'm buying a gift and also some of you guys might actually be preparing for an engagement your own engagement so maybe your partner is like preparing a ring or something it just feels like oh you're the person who's preparing the ring so just uh put take that as, as it resonates you know it's obviously not going to be for everybody so next month we have is november we have the tarantula in the reverse so you guys here this is about withstanding a lot of heat withstanding a lot of drama intensity and that sort of thing so i feel like with the tarantula the fact that it's in reverse is you are releasing drama November is going to be a kind of a time where things are going to be a little bit interlooped and what does that mean? So basically what you thought you knew and what you thought you liked or people who you thought you could connect with you're no longer connecting with them and you're feeling a little bit more separate but it's good because you're cleansing and clearing out everything that no longer serves you within that month and you're recognizing and shedding who you are and therefore you're able to really discern what's good for you and what's not good for you and a lot of the time people don't like tarantulas and because they're so frigging big and they're spiders and not many people like spiders so for you guys you might have had encounters or may have encounters this month where people are starting to like test you or people are testing you on who you are and what your what your boundaries are and I feel like for this, it's showing me that because that just because every like, everyone doesn't have to like you, that's what I'm hearing. And I'm not saying this is in a bad way, but it's kind of thinking that you, you can't control other people's opinions. If people don't like what you do, which a lot of people won't like what you do in life, that's just how it is. But a lot of people will love what you do. And those are the people that you want to stick, that you want them to stick around. Those are the people that you want in your life. Okay. So last card here we have is the golden egg. Oh my God, I love that, that is so cute. Can we put these like here? I don't know if that will stretch, hang on, let me move these. The golden egg, so this is the month of December. So much abundance within the month of December. This is all about the heart chakra, this is feeling really nurtured. So this is showing me that around December time, you're gonna to start to feel like you are manifesting things that are much more in your wavelength. So family members, there may be a few babies that are being born. I'm also feeling here that there's a, an abundance of just things shifting for you and you're feeling much more comfortable with who you are. You're feeling like you can really be in your own energy and you're also manifesting people who are much more for you, much people, people who are much more on your wavelength. It's kind of like busyness inward, busyness inward. So it's kind of like, I feel that's probably the energy that's gonna be throughout the next few months. So I feel like the golden egg as well, it just represents that heartfelt energy that kind of like I'm working on myself and therefore I'm gonna get so much further than what I would if I was comparing myself to other people and things like that. And also just knowing that whatever you're doing, you are being divinely guided. So it may feel like you're a bit lost, but actually it just takes one step to just shift you on this path to movement and abundance and forward, forward movement, I feel. I feel like as well, you guys are quite hard on yourselves and I think it's just really shifting that energy and not being so hard on yourself. I really feel that. It's quite an important message for you guys. So the main two tarot for autumn is the hermit. Yep, that makes sense. <laughs> and the empress, that is so accurate because we literally had that inward outward energy. And the empress is that golden egg energy. It's very much to do with nurturing yourself and who you are and really figuring out what your, um, what your energy is and what makes you feel abundant. And the Empress is all about rebirthing. So, and also birthing. So I'm hearing rebirthing though. So for a lot of you guys, it could be that you are, you are re renewing, transforming yourself. You could be a Scorpio watching this or a Capricorn or a Taurus. I'm getting quite a strong fixed sign energy, even an Aquarius. 
you guys are very connected to the moon as well. I feel like the Hermit and the Empress are very much to do with the moon. I mean, the Empress is that nurturing energy and so is the moon. And the Hermit is very much to do with going inwards. So, and, and the moon is always getting us to go inwards. <laughs> so I feel like for you, the fact that we have both these two cards is showing me that there's a massive energy to do with like expansion, but it's all inward. So it's like you are feeling how I'm hearing you are feeling how you're feeling and that's good. So basically some of you guys, you might stop yourself from feeling things out of feeling discomfort or vulnerability and that's okay. You don't actually have to share this with anybody. I feel like the best thing for you to do is actually just be on your own. Um, and just figure out what it is that you need and also just go to people if you need to like ask for help but you don't have to do this you can do this on your own if you feel the need to okay um, but it's also that empress energy is that massive energy of femininity and you're figuring out what makes you feel like a feminine and even if you connect more as a masculine we all have feminine and masculine energy so you're bringing in just that really gorgeous feminine energy into your life which is love it's abundance it's compassion feeling compassion for yourself and i feel like this is actually going to bring in lots of different ideas as well which we have the ace of swords here so that's really beautiful so massive amount of ideas and opportunities coming towards you and we also have the temperance so yeah there is that masculine and that feminine energy being balanced and this is all about kind of connecting to what feels right for you and then going towards it. and also temperance is all about patience so i feel like patience is going to be really um, important for you in the next few months but i feel like it's not actually strenuous like it's not strenuous patience it's not like, oh my god i need to move forward it's kind of like do you know what i'm just gonna wait until the right moment has come along and with this seven of wands i always get like a massive kind of <clears throat> excuse me mystic energy from this so autumn's going to be very much about you enabling your throat chakra as well and kind of finding your balance to do with emotions i feel and very much to do with finding success, finding success in your own emotions. So figuring out that actually it all starts with you and it's okay to go inwards and not not like painfully hurt yourself. And when I say painfully hurt yourself, I mean just like bash yourself emotionally. If you don't feel like you can do something one day, just be very, very kind to yourself and know that this will change and, and your emotions fluctuate. So one day you can feel really bad, one day you can feel really good. So just be very, very kind to yourself. And this, the Four of Swords is showing me that you may need to go inward a few times, but it's all for a purpose. It's also you can find your purpose, what you want to do in life, what you want to do in the next few months. And also I just see massive amount of mental energy change. So if you're going through a lot of anxiety, depression, confusion, just know that you'll find that balance and you'll might feel much more clearer, okay? And the energy underneath is a Four of Wands, so feeling much more clearer, much more happier. And just feeling like you can sustain the energy also. Like sometimes we can feel very overwhelmed. This is very much to do with, okay, I feel scared. I'm going to channel that energy into dancing or acknowledging and releasing or EFT, you know, all of those things. Okay. So if any of you guys are confused on what acknowledging and releasing is an EFT, acknowledging and releasing, I already did a video on this. I'll put it in my link uh, in the description box. And also EFT, you can just Google that. It's really, really good. Very, very good. Okay. Let's see what we have here. So we have the, ooh, 10th house, loads of career energy. We have Cancerian and we also have Jupiter. Massive, oh my God, guys, you're gonna expand massively in your career. And it's gonna be something that you love as well. It's not gonna be just something that is there to make money, it is. But it's also, you wanna be doing more of a nurturing job this, this time around. It feels more to do if you're gonna be in more of a nurturing job or, you're going to be nurturing more people or feel like you can really nurture yourself because a lot of the time we can be blocked off from our emotions and feel very scared of them because we're not taught in school or anything how to deal with them and it's a natural thing we are meant to be we are emotional beings that's completely natural so this jupiter energy is showing me there's massive expansion in your career but also it's going to be a career that you love so it feels like there's going to be a massive shift between um restriction i'm hearing restriction construction so it's kind of like inwards you are constructing this new you and then outwardly you're then re you're then birthing this new idea and feeling much more able to handle life uh for, for yourself not just for other people what they want it's for yourself this is all to do with you and jupiter's all about that massive expansion that that energy of kind of the rules so feeling like 
some, sometimes I think we're gonna there's gonna be a few kind of like up and downs but I feel like it's more to do with emotionally I don't think it's more externally I feel like externally you've got it made I feel like the best advice is to just go with your emotions what are you feeling in that moment and you may think well that's not going to get me a job that's not going to get me a career but actually if you if you can follow that obviously we all need money so obviously get the money as well but oh, as well as this let your emotions guide you because that is trusting the universe and that is trusting your um that is trusting your guidance as well so the guides are telling me we need to do a little bit of sound healing for you guys so i'm going to do some sound healing uh right now so if you guys want to stay along with this sound healing you can if you don't want to then you feel free to click off this video and just to let you know if you want a private reading all my information is down below okay so let's do a little bit of sound healing for you guys for autumn Okay, so that is your sound healing, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your autumnal reading. Let's see what's happening for you guys between the 22nd of September and the 21st of December. So let's get started. So we have Opal. I love Opal. Opal is the birthstone of October, which is so funny. So this could be to do literally with October. So it says here... Where to put it? General rule, white and blue vibe with the head, pink vibes with the heart and black vibes with the lower abdomen. So for you guys, opal can trans transmute into all different colours. So it depends on what kind of opal you get. But with this, it's showing me all the different, all the different colours here. So we have pink, black and blue. So we have a lot to do with the throat, the heart and the root chakra. So you guys, this is all about speaking your truth. This is about being in relationships where you can authentically be yourself. And it says, when you have something that needs to get moving, a project, a relationship, or an energetic block, feel all your feels. So for you guys, I feel like you're feeling a little bit stuck within your career and your love life. So in the next few months, there's gonna be a massive shift around that and you're gonna feel like you can really handle that and it's gonna it's gonna give a massive shift so the opal i highly recommend i also do crystal recommendation bracelets and necklaces on my on my shop so if you'd like this in a crystal piece then please let me know i do custom pieces as well just message me on there okay so let's get the rest of your oracle cards out first and then we're gonna uh do some tarot so let me just grab all of your wow you whoa oh my god guys i did wow whoa why have you got so many <laughs> animal cards okay that's that's cool that's nice okay i did not realize that okay so that's cool so obviously i'm gonna show you all of those so ooh, sincerity okay and we also have star mother how can you mother yourself so the next four months three to four months is kind of like you're really being called to nurture and cherish yourself nurture and really work on yourself and the sincerity is all about handling situations calmly and also not getting emotionally involved. So a lot of you guys could have a bit of a, of a trigger around a certain person or a situation and realize that if, if that's not moving or if that's not shifting, maybe there's something that you can do about it, um, including possibly having Opal around you, but also kind of figuring out if this is the right relationship for me and mothering yourself enough to realize 
if that relationship is good for me and if it's not okay and the mothering yourself is also showing me that just to honor your emotions that come up if you feel uncomfortable just really honor those and really acknowledge them or do some eft i felt that would really really help you guys and i'm also actually hearing drinking tea so chamomile and spearmint i'm hearing and also mint tea and there's another one i'm hearing i'm actually hearing dragon fruit which is very strange I'm seeing like a, dra a dragon fruit, but also something else there, like star fruit. So I don't know, I've never had dragon fruit or star fruit. So just take that as it resonates, guys. But you might find a tea that has that in it. I'm also seeing you guys drinking tea and it has like a little label. I think pucker tea has that. Or there's another one that has that. And it has like a little label that has like little words written on it that tells you kind of, <clears throat> wow, my throat, that tells you kind of um, like a little message. So that's really cute. So... Okay, how many cards have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I was actually meant to have just four and we got seven. So what are we doing here? Okay, so we're gonna have three of the overall autumn and then four for, and one for each month. Okay, so we're gonna have these three are gonna be for the autumnal months. Okay, and then we're gonna have these four for each month. So this is gonna be general energy. Okay, so. We have the fish, beautiful. We have the fish, we have the lion, and we have the cosmic egg. All of these are such random energies, and I love them. Let me move my little candle over here so they don't catch a light. Okay, so the fish, the lion, and the cosmic egg. Such random energies, but I love it. So the fact that I didn't know we had seven cards is very random as well. So you guys expect lots of surprises, okay? Expect lots of random stuff, and you think, well, actually, is that meant for me? Am I meant to have that? Yes. Yes, you are. Don't ever doubt that this is meant. To, this is not meant to be here for you. So the fish is showing me there's a massive emotional shift within you. You may be meeting a Pisces, a Leo, a Virgo. Um, I'm hearing a, what was the other one that I was going to say? Aries, Sag. Um, I'm getting like water and fire quite strongly as well. But I'm seeing that you're going to be brave. You have gone inwards or you're going inwards and then you're going to be brave and use all of this things, all the things that you've learned to move forward. And I'm seeing you guys playing in a playground when you were younger. So I feel like for you guys, it's kind of like bringing in play into your life as well. And learning to really open up to your ideas. What, what are your ideas telling you? And we're going to have a look at the cosmic egg. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to get a lot of psychic downloads to help you with the, your energy. Because the co cosmic egg is all about the seventh chakra, which is the crown. Which is, we have that here with sincerity, with the purple. So for you guys, it's really getting connected with who you are. And for you guys, this is all about completion, harmony, and the infinite within the finite. So this is very much to do with kind of connecting to your third eye. This is meditation. This is just trusting in the universe and trusting in your power to manifest and attract abundance. And not, <coughs> guys, my throat chakra keeps doing something. And it's not even about the abundance, it's about how you feel. So if you can connect to your emotions first, you will attract this abundance just naturally. And I feel like for you guys, I'm getting a really strong message that if you're a water sign watching this, or you're a person who's been single for quite a long time, you're going to manifest somebody who's really brave and very courageous and very kind of bold. And it's going to be really, really like you're not going to expect it at all. It's going to be like, oh, okay, 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 yep, cool. Um, <laughs> and then it's going to be like, oh, wow, it's going to be a very spiritual relationship, very, very spiritual. If you aren't single or you're not wanting love, I do feel like this could be just a friendship or a leader in your life who really gives you that boost of energy to go forward. Okay, <clears throat> sorry about my coughing, guys. Oh, more water energy. So this is the rest of September. This is you being guided by your emotions, by your intuition, I love whales. They're so graceful. They're so gentle, very much like stingrays. They have that very light energy. So for you guys, this is just about trusting the universe, trusting that you are a leader and not doubting your leadership skills. Okay. So for a lot of you, I feel like your empaths who are watching this and you're very, very gentle. Your energy is very gentle. And I think sometimes you doubt how capable you are. So in the month of the rest of September, I feel like just go with your emotions. What are they telling you? What's your body telling you? Are you feeling allergic to foods that you're eating, you suddenly feeling bloated as soon as you eat something and you suddenly feel like an allergic reaction or itching or scarring, I'm hearing. So for a lot of you guys, it's being very sensitive with who you are and also just observing things from afar and not being too closely into them. October, ooh, that is interesting. We have the spider. So <clears throat> very much to do with the October energy. I'm pretty sure group number one also got the tarantula within October, I'm not too sure, but it feels like there's a massive energy of weaving your own web and finding the right path for you. 
And I'm gonna have a look at the spider in this book as well to get a little bit more information. The spider here is being represented as the earth sign. So this is all about your abundance. It's about your manifestation and also kind of waiting to strike. This could also be you guys moving house as well. I mean, spiders are always making their little homes everywhere with their, with their webs. So you guys, you can make a home anywhere. And also um, you might be getting some new decor around October time. This could be maybe getting some autumnal decor. It feels very autumnal. Um, sorry, not, is it, what did I say? I meant to say internal. I don't know if I said it, eternal. I don't know what I said. But basically, this is to do with creator of prosperity through life's work and dharma. So this is about appreciative, enthusiastic and prosperous. When out of balance, it says discouraged, tired and forlorn. So this is very much to do with being impatient, but not going with the impatience, really working with your own energy and knowing that this is important and processing your energy through your work so building things doing a project creating things being just really really creative in the month of october and um kind of exploring new realms so possibly if you go running running somewhere different if you dance maybe dance to a different song going out with friends i think finding your tribe as well i'm hearing for this as well and it literally just says about creativity and saying to weave your tapestry and abundance will follow. So if you can really acknowledge that you are a creative being, you just can, you can express that creativity. Go for it, girl, go for it. Right, November. Wow, massive transformation. So this could also be, I feel like this is more external. This is massively external. This is very much to do with the root chakra. So I love the fact we go from the earth to the root chakra, getting massive tingles. So you guys are going to manifest something through this creative venture and you're going to become this brand new person. You're then going to possibly attract a fire sign. This is for December. Attract a fire sign and become much more of a grounded being in the month of November. I feel like you're going to feel very grounded and also that's going to attract money. So you're probably going to get quite a bit of money around uh, October, November time and also attract people who are on your wavelength. December is all about observing, same with the whale. This is more about kind of physically observing. So for you guys, just be aware of drama coming in your life, but don't be too kind of like, you know, uncomfortable with this. I feel like it's it's meant to happen, okay? So it doesn't feel like anything too intense. It just feels like you need to kind of hold your ground. It could be with somebody who's in your energy and they're somebody who's part of like your friendship group or something and you're having to just kind of be a little bit more discerning. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of workload, so you may be very, very busy with your work. So I feel like with the gazelle, it's showing me that you just need to kind of cater to and organize your work to be more productive instead of being like, I'm going to distract myself because I don't want to deal with this, you know, and gazelle is very sensitive. So you guys can feel very, very sensitive and connected. But I definitely feel like for you guys, this is more about love for you, this group. So I am sensing a lot of love energy around it, whether it's whether it's you giving the love to yourself or whether it's kind of love coming towards you in terms of like an external partner. Okay, so let's have a look at the overall energy. Yes, that is what I'm talking about, woohoo. Okay, so did you like that little woohoo that just came out of my mouth? So <laughs> completely untethered right now. Okay, that is how you're gonna feel. You're gonna feel totally untethered and, and, and in, a, in a good way. Okay, in a good way. Massive amount of love, massive new start, boom. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let's get you some tarot. The same to shuffle the cards. I'm gonna do what spirit tells me to do, and that's what they said. The same do it a couple more times. So let's get a little, a little shuffle in there. Oopsies. I just heard oopsie doo da. Maybe you guys are dropping something. I don't. Know. It, doesn't, it sounds very cute though. It feels like you're coming more into your childlike energy. Oh my god, yes. Yes, 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 we have the star. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so for you guys, you've got the star, which is amazing. So that is all about divine timing. That's things just coming in completely, naturally, and I love that. So, oops. Okay, so the next card out we have is the moon. We also have the five of wands. So for you guys, you might feel like you're not really on the right track and you're just trying things and they're just not working they will suddenly start to work, okay? They will suddenly start to come to fruition and you will start to have massive amounts of abundance come through. And this is very much to do with, well, just everything really. It's to do with the uh, emotional abundance. It's to do with kind of activating 
uh, your external energy. So things that you've been wanting to have for a very long time, this is something that you're, uh, you're manifesting and it's something that you externally need to do to get there. So for you guys, this is basically saying, wait, it's going to be okay, go inwards. And I know how annoying it is for people to keep saying going inwards. I know tarot readers say that a lot. <laughs> uh, but this time it's basically saying like, you can get there. You don't have to struggle and have conflict though with other people. You don't have to um, compete. You just need to be in your own lane and you will manifest abundance. And lots of cards are coming out for you guys. So I'm not sure how that's happening but we had the nine of wands so you may feel like you're going nowhere but you are definitely going somewhere okay so king of wands that's coming along with this energy so massive amount of love coming in really good energy manifesting we also have the six of swords and the seven of swords so looking at all your demons and energy that's really not serving you and being like bye bitch like i don't want you anymore goodbye you know like really just looking at it being like nah not really up for that today satan <laughs> you know like i'm not really up for that anymore um i say that lightly by the way guys um that's just my little thing that i say and yeah just really transforming your energy and disintegrating any old beliefs about yourself okay so let's see what else we have here okay so we have fifth house we have Mars and we also have Taurus. So you could be manifesting, oh sorry, Aries. You could be manifesting an Aries or a Taurus, somebody who's very driven. Um, that really en energetic energy, like really high, high, high energy, high vibrational and somebody who's really on your wavelength. So the fifth house is also about dating. It's about childlike energy, romance, creativity, fertility. So all of that high vibrational, happy energy is really coming in for you guys in the next few months. And I really am very happy for you guys because this feels so much like activation coming in. Like it feels very, very powerful. And it feels like it all just starts from within. And it's, you're gonna manifest this beautiful energy of serendipity coming in and just feeling really, really comfortable with your own energy. And that in turn is gonna manifest things externally, especially a partnership or a work partnership with somebody who's really determined to work with you and just, you're gonna get things done, okay? So massive map determination here, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like a private reading, all information's down below. I'm gonna do a little bit of sound healing. So if you wanna stick around for that, please do. So let's get started with the sound healing. So I did this for group number one and they're saying they wanna do it for all groups. So that's what we're gonna to do today. So let's get started. There you go, group number two. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So first card out we have is the gorgeous selenite. Selenite is one of my faves. I always have my little selenite wand here to kind of help me with my intuition and things when I'm feeling a little bit blocked or just to help me kind of channel. Very, very good for that kind of energy. It's really good for clearing spaces as well. It's a very kind of high vibrational crystal. It's very much to do with like clearing out space and bring in new kind of relaxational energies. Relaxational, is that a word? I don't know, just made it up. Okay, so this, this is for healers, believers, the currently cleansing, juice, technology, etc. So this is really good if you want the slate wiped clean. And it's really good to have by your bedside table after a, after a brutal work week or around your apartment after somebody extra shady visits. So when to use it? When you move into a new space and want any lingering bad juju to vamoose, give them a gentle tap with selenite, clear your path to enlightenment. So this is very much to do with like that new renewal energy. So if you've been feeling stuck and like you're in the same place all the time, this will help that kick into high gear. And also it's a really good crystal for just higher vibrational shift and movement. So if you are 
in a room where you're kind of channeling or if you do a lot of spiritual work or if you're somebody who does Reiki or even being a nurse, having selenite around you will really help you to kind of tune into that higher vibrational energy and kind of get away from the mundane kind of old energy around kind of you know the human mind <laughs> you know a lot of that ego energy is kind of being moved okay so let's start off with your oracle cards then we're going to have a look into an animal card for each month and then we're going to move into your tarot so let's pull these up here all right so next one out we have don't dim to fit in how are you dimming your light in order to fit in and dignity so this is very much to do with your solar plexus and your sacral chakra so basically, like it said, it says don't dim to fit in. So is there any part of you that stops yourself from doing things because you don't want other people to know that about you or you don't want them to think that about you? And at the end of the day, you've got to do what's best for you because you are the most important person in your own life. And what you think of yourself is so, 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 so important. And it's really important for you to just embrace your light because you are like this for a reason. You know, you, you have all these specialities for a reason. So you want to really embrace those and really bring those into the forefront. You know, not every, no one is like you, you know, you are an individual, you are unique and it's very much to do with how you're assessing your own life and really bringing in your own, just your own perspective on your life. Like, what do you want to do and why do you want to do it? And not giving anyone, you know, a reason to, you know, say these things. Because at the end of the day, if people say these things, it's more of a reflection on them than it is on you. All right. So first cut out this is to do with September oh this is exactly that energy very much to do with the throat chakra speaking your truth speaking your voice um, letting your voice be heard and really just letting people hear what you have to say saying no when you mean no saying yes when you mean yes and when there's something that you don't feel is right speak up about it and obviously in the most like dignifying way not in a certain way that's like oh I hate you you're horrible you're a, you're a this you're a that just being very, very gentle with your energy and really being, I'm feeling being very on top of your throat chakra. So uh, lots of singing in the month of the rest of September, kind of lots of expression, lots of creativity coming through the throat chakra. So you could do a very creative job or you could do a job where you're talking a lot and this is going to help, this crystal especially is going to help kind of channel that energy through. And what you have to say is important. Let me just say, what you have to say is important. What you've been through is important. And it's really important to share your opinions in a group setting or with other people because you never know what your voice will bring to other people. You never know how you're going to affect other people. Okay, so October. Wow, this is the most October card. <laughs> Okay, it's funny because every group seems to have like a very like Halloween-y type animal for the month of October, which is so cool. So, and this is especially good for me because my birthday's on October. Like I literally was born on Halloween. So this is me. <laughs> this is me right here. So the bat energy is showing me that you guys are really flying high and your energy is very high vibrational in the next few months. It's kind of like you're not letting things affect you. And the bat is very much to do with the transformational energy. It's kind of coming out of the darkness into the light and it's really just being your whole authentic, weird, kind of like, you know, we all have our own weirdness and really just embracing that. And the moon is very much to do with kind of emotional sustainability and emotional waves, emotional changes. So you guys are very much connected to the moon and we have like almost like a moon shape thing here. So you guys are really seeing things differently. You're seeing things much more clearly in the month of October and you are kind of flying through obstacles really, really nicely, which is great. Love that. Wow. Holy crap. You guys have so much transformative energy. I love that. So with along with this butterfly dragon thing here, we have the bat and the moth. So, so much air energy, so much communication coming in. You're going to be like, boom, boom, boom. I mean, air is all about the throat chakra. It's about communication. It's about kind of getting your communication out there. So I feel like whatever you're doing, if you, especially if you're a public speaker, if you're on YouTube, if you're a blogger, if you're somebody who is like, just talks a lot for a job, be a counselor, your voice is gonna be extremely important within the next few months. And it's how you come across is what's important. And having that dignifying energy and being very caring about who you are, what you wanna put across. So just being really caring and the moth energy is very much to do with that transformation. And both of these energies are, so transformative so there's gonna be okay let's have a look at december wow i don't think i've ever had a reading with all air cards 
Okay, you are so much wiser because of what you've gone through and the moth is kind of shedding that old self-belief and for you guys you might get your best work through nighttime because all of these are pretty much like nighttime cards as well and you might be talking to somebody at night as well you might have like a little nighttime cozy chat with somebody you might meet somebody in the nighttime in like a not a dodgy way like i mean like at a pub or something or a restaurant or you might have a date at nighttime something like that it feels like something that you don't expect that's coming towards you so let's just have a look at the bat spirit i'm gonna see what he's representing here it just feels like people might see you differently but somebody coming in will see you in such a beautiful light and this is also the, the moth here is saying it's to do with impulsive so make sure you're not being too imp impulsive in the month of uh what is it september october november yeah not to be too hasty in the month of november and the bat is saying darkness letting go death leading to rebirth wow absolutely beautiful so you guys are really shedding everything that no longer serves you like bye bye no longer there goodbye and also this is about coming into a new chapter it's about a new day coming in and also accepting, adapting, adjusting and letting go of things that just no longer serve you. So the fact that we have the owl on the last month of the year, which is so weird to say, that's crazy, isn't it? With the December energy, this is about you just standing your ground and not even questioning who you are. Like you are really standing in your power and you're being very wise. Owls, I always see them as very wise. They're, some, they're normally an animal that has just a lot of observational skills. So quite a strong Sagittarius vibe. So there's somebody who will observe and, and not kind of be in too much in their own energy. So a lot of this is to do with re rediscovering or discovering yourself. And then December is like, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Got everything sorted. I know who I am. And I think... I'm hearing like this is kind of like an open time. So September will be like an opening for something, something new coming in, death and rebirth, and then actually having that physical thing in November. But I, obviously it's going to resonate differently for everyone. Okay, so sorry if that was loud, guys. My table is very loud. Yep, you guys are going to manifest a partnership through your, um, your career or through like an organisation of friends. So it could be through a group of friends that we have here. So we have Uranus, we have Libra and the 11th house. So with Uranus, uh, not a very forgiving planet. It's, it's a planet of uh, destruction and kind of, uh, kind of expanding. So the fact that we have this around Libra is showing me your relationships are gonna drastically change in the next few months within autumn. You're gonna see new partnerships coming in where you didn't think you would. And the 11th house is very much to do with its communities, it's, it's kind of that very strong like Aquarius energy. So it's like how you connect to your tribe, um, bringing in new tribal energy, so bringing in new people, um, and very much to do with just really connecting with others who are on your wavelength. And I do feel like this is like a drastic shift and that transformation could be to do with your relationships. You can have a massive transformation in your relationships and it doesn't have to be romantic, it can be love relationships as well and how you see those. Okay, so let's have a look at your tarot and let's see what's going on there. Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles. Yes, Queen. Wow, I did not expect that. So you guys are definitely going to have some sort of partnership going on. It doesn't have to be love. It can be, uh, it can be like work partnership or anything like that. So the Four of Pentacles is showing me that you guys have kind of kept things close to your chest. You're also possibly creating something that you don't want anyone to know about. And I feel like that's the best way to do it because you can really have just your own opinions and not have any external opinions and just be yourself. Um, the Two of Cups is very much to do with partnerships. It's about balance. It's about duality. So in the autumn time, you're going to feel like you're going to connect with people who are really on your wavelength. This is making me so emotional because this feels like the connection of a lifetime this feels like somebody who really is on your wavelength and I never actually noticed but on this card there's somebody who's wearing like a rainbow bracelet so, so for some of you guys that kind of is showing me about kind of accepting this person for any kind of form that they come in um and it's kind of reminding you of like the LGBTQ community so if you guys uh, associate with that then that could be an extra clarification for you but it doesn't have to be okay Four of Pentacles is also showing me that you're saving up for something in terms of money. So that can be really prominent. Wow, that's the first card we have out is the four. That is so powerful. Brand new beginnings, guys. You are so ready. You are really in your power in the next few months. You're feeling so much more happier and so much more relief. And like you can really live your life. 
Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords. So really learning to look at what you're thinking and not be too overwhelmed by it and not be too connected to it because you guys are having a lot of deep thinking in the next few months and it's really making sure you're not overwhelming yourself because I feel like money is going to be really good and I think you might actually get overwhelmed because of how much you're emotionally investing in yourself. So just be very aware of how much you are investing in yourself and not to be too overwhelmed by work. If you need to take a break, take a break. Uh, lots of emotional healing, masculine and feminine energy is being balanced here. And you're not being, you're not, okay, you're being very aware of how you're judging yourself and how you see your own opinions. And the moon here is showing me that you guys are getting that massive balance between the two energies. And the Knight of Wands is showing me you're going to just have so much fun. You have so much fun coming towards you and so much happiness. And I'm hearing no more chasing your tail. No more of this energy. No more of the Three of Swords here. No more of feeling confused and just very uncomfortable and just feeling like you can't be in your own energy. So just being really um, vulnerable and you're not going to have any heartbreak, I don't feel, in the next few months. I feel like it's going to be very smooth sailing. But obviously, take this as it resonates. It is a general message. So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. And if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. I am going to do a little bit of sound healing. I'm doing a bit of sound healing for every group. So if you want to stick around for that little bit of sound healing that I'm going to do, then carry on watching. And also for those of you who are going, thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. All right. So those of you who want to stick around for the sound healing, let's do that now. So thank you so much for being here guys. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So I also have some extra cards, one for each month and I'm also going to do some tarot for you guys as well. So let's start off with the oracle cards and let's see what they want to say. So let's see what this one is. Honey calcite, beautiful. When the barriers to abundance feel too big to power through, when it's time to stop waiting your turn and stop waiting until tomorrow, Picture yourself triumphant on the other side of whatever stands in your way and call on Honey Cow site to kick in the door. Anyone with a job to do, the brilliant but lazy any Taurus. So it also says break through your limits. Okay, so there's very much to do with how much you are asserting yourself in your work life and how much you're kind of putting in the energy to push forward. So you could be feeling a little bit lackluster because you think, oh, what's the point? It's not going to work out, all these sort of things. So in the next few months, I do see you're breaking that barrier and you're kind of moving through that energy and having much more success because you are working through this energy and because you are really working through who you are. And also the barriers can also be just denial. Like you feel kind of in denial that maybe you feel like it's not going to work out. And how do you know that? Like it, it might work out. That's like the best the best thing to look out for is it, it just might work out. Okay. So next one we have is aff affection. I love that. So that's really, really beautiful. So this is very much to do with how much energy you're putting towards yourself. And we have this gorgeous orange going on here. So the, the best thing for you to do is really work on how much love you're giving yourself and also s surround yourself in affection, whether it be having flowers around you, having scented candles, you know, like having anything that makes your energy li lighten up. Because sometimes we can just get really in our head and not even realize it. And at the end of the day, we think, oh, what I've actually accomplished. But actually, you probably accomplish a lot more than what you think you have. And sometimes it just takes like writing a list and then doing all those things. And also, I see a lot of abundance coming towards you the more self-love you give yourself. Okay. Wow. What are you clinging on to? This is a very big question. These questions are really deep in this deck. So, okay. Tower moment. You guys are really recognizing your potential. You're realizing what you can do. And this can be literally anything. This can be your old relationship. This can be 
an old mindset you have about yourself, how you see yourself, think maybe I haven't got the potential and all those things. And sometimes, okay, a lot, a lot of the time us humans are in a lot of a, a big pattern and sometimes we don't even realise it. We can stop ourselves from doing things, especially those of you who are fixed signs. It can be quite hard for, for us to kind of change our mind about things. So it's really giving us the opportunity to look at something and think, actually, can I change that? And we, can, we have the potential to change all the time. It's only the restrictions that we put on ourselves that stop us from changing, you know? And sometimes we're scared of change, but we also want change. So that's why it can be very, very confusing, okay? So it's kind of showing me that you are realizing something about yourself and you're thinking, I don't want to do that anymore. And also it could be you're maybe realizing what you are holding on to and that maybe it isn't the best thing for you. Maybe it is quite a negative trait and that's okay, you know? This, is, this rose energy is very much about love. So really connecting to what you love will help you. Creating uh, creation as well. Creating um, abundance and... Uh, okay, creating abundance through creativity. Okay, so doing things that make you feel happy. And what are you good at? And not focusing on things that you aren't good at and focusing on things you are good at. Okay, so let's have a look at the rest of September. Yep, you guys are feeling very busy. You guys are feeling like things are on top of you and especially with this ant card it kind of reminds me of like you're in the middle and then everyone just wants your attention so if you're feeling like quite overwhelmed in september make sure you just give yourself a break and know that giving yourself a break will give you so much more of a productive time than like overworking because sometimes we're scared of stopping you know we're scared of stopping because we think that if we're not productive you know whatever production is productivity is we can really bash ourselves especially if we're having trouble with work or we don't have work or we're not working or we're unemployed or you know we're struggling with like getting work if you're self-employed just be aware that whatever you're doing you're still working towards it you don't actually have to like write loads of things down, work with loads of clients, work with loads of people. As long as you're doing something, whether that's relaxing, whether that's doing some breathing exercises, whether that's just literally binging out and chilling, if you feel like that's what you need in that moment, freaking do it. Unless it's obviously you like trying to get motivated, which probably won't help. But if you actually, even though they're saying, even though it might not be, you might actually, this might actually give you motivation. Because sometimes if we've overworked, we can't work to our fullest potential if we are tired, you know, so being aware of that. So next card out, this is October. Whoa, that is intense. So they're saying it's upright. Okay, seeing through illusions, just seeing like the deeper parts of yourself. Let's get and see what this is all about. So the dragon is obviously a spiritual animal. The dragon is being represented here as the third chakra, which as I said, is to do with the solar plexus so that is very much to do with the honey cow side so this is all about your confidence this is about your digestive system so you guys might feel a little bit bloated just be aware of what you're eating what you're putting in your body and also clearing and detoxifying so you may have to do a detox um i highly recommend like i'm seeing you just drinking lots of water obviously and eating as well like drinking lots of water they're making sure you're getting enough water and with the dragon it says seeing one true self and balancing the ego so it says, it's almost as if we are traveling with a great friend inside of ourselves. When we look in the mirror deep into our eyes, we may even glimpse the self behind the self, the one who is watching us. This is the power of the dragon, breathing transformative fire into every cell of our bodies. Witnessing the omnipotent energy, even for a brief moment, helps us to surrender and let go. We let the dragon guide us. We hop on its back for a ride. And as we transverse even the most difficult terrain, the dragon's eyes see beauty everywhere absolutely beautiful so it's kind of like dropping the old you and dropping the ego you know it's this, this is the best thing for you guys and the fact that this is to do with the third chakra is showing me that you guys have something that you want to do and and really doing it if you have something that ignites you and makes you feel good then that's great and if maybe you're lacking in that that's okay too maybe you just need to take a little bit of a break and you don't have to be productive all the time that's just what i'm hearing really strongly very virgo energy so you guys might have virgo strongly in your chart wow okay so there's definitely like a theme like i think it's either the last group or group number two had a lot of air energy and you guys have got a lot of the kind of spiritual animals so in november you guys are seeing your potential and you're moving up to the throat chakra which is beautiful so speaking your truth and maybe having a little bit of a conversation with somebody where it really ignites passion. So it could be, I mean, I see the sacral chakra because it's so close to the sacral. Um, did I say sacral twice? 
I meant to say it's solar. When I look at the solar plexus, I also think of the sacral chakra. Very much to do with your confidence around sexuality, around creativity, how you see yourself. So the sea serpent is kind of putting that into practice and really asserting yourself and speaking your truth and, and approaching people. Like if you don't feel like you can talk to people on the phone, if you have like a lack of confidence in that, if you feel like you can't, say if you get like in a restaurant, you get like food that you don't like and you're like scared of saying, oh, I don't really like it and not taking it back. This is a new you. I feel like you guys are going to feel feel very, very confident in the month of November and really speaking how you feel. When you feel sad or you feel upset, you are able to really tell people because sometimes we forget that and we forget how hard it is sometimes to really speak our truth and be vulnerable because we're scared of the rejection. But I feel like what's important for you is how you're just expressing it and are you expressing yourself? That's what's important. It's kind of like giving yourself permission to do that. And then we also have the fire energy of the peacock, which also is air here as well. So this is very much to do with expression of the self. It's being very bold and also changing up your um, way, the way you look. So you may get a new wardrobe in the month of December. You may get some Christmas presents that are like, you know, some new clothes or some new makeup or something like that. But it's kind of just giving yourself permission to just give yourself what it is that you want. So I feel like you're pr giving yourself a present. So you may have saved up for something and then you're giving yourself that present. But also it's like, I'm not going to ask for your opinion. That's what I'm hearing. I'm not going to ask for your opinion. I'm just going to do it. And I feel like some of you guys, you could be quite shy. So I feel like that shyness is really going to come come out and really, you're going to start to feel much more bold and much more able to sustain the energy. Okay, so let's have a look and see what the astrology dice are saying. And then we're going to have a look into your tarot. Okay, sorry that was really loud, guys. So we have the Cancerian, we have the Sixth House, and we also have the Uranus. So Sixth House is all about to do um, with service. It's the Virgo energy. So you guys are going to feel very in your caring energy. And I feel like this is very much to do with your heart chakra and how you care for other people. And you're going to feel like you're much more able to care for people in the next few months because your, your cup is filled. And you may, you may even meet somebody through a caring career or a caring, some sort of like health thing. I nearly burnt my hand on the candle. <laughs> That's not good. So the cancer energy here is showing that you guys are extremely caring and you could do a very caring job or a job where you are giving service to others. So for you guys, you may change your, your career. You may change how you're doing your daily routine. So it might be as simple as you know, if some of you guys don't brush your teeth twice a day, it could be like brushing your teeth once, uh, more than once a day, flossing. It could be um, having more baths instead of showers because you think, oh, I can't, I don't have enough time for a bath. Like giving yourself permission to do that, doing face masks, um, doing some emotional fitness, doing some EFT, doing some counselling with somebody, getting a therapist. All of those things, like a tiny, and also just tiny changes. And they're like not wearing a bra for a day. If you feel like you have to wear a bra, you know, it's kind of like those sort of things that give you confidence and also wearing things that give you confidence and not worrying about what other people think and who cares what people think most of the time anyway because at the end of the day they don't even know who we are like if you're walking down the street like people don't really care most of the time we just think they do okay so massive like virgo energy for this group and also just a massive amount of work energy so you guys are going to feel very productive you're going to feel like you can really give service to others this the next few months your work is going to be really good most likely you can be meeting a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and starting something new with them could be starting a new work adventure as well so you guys are collaborating with somebody I'm feeling like you can really um, express what you love and putting that into a career and making money out of it and I feel like if there is something that you want to make and it's to do with like a craft making into a career I see you could do that I see some of you guys that could be buying a new doggy new dog yeah you guys are really in your power in the next few months you guys are really shifting your emotions the way you see yourself is so important and that's that cancer energy with that queen of cups so you guys are really empowered and you guys are really giving yourself permission to feel and also just to be your authentic self especially those of you who are water signs i feel like a lot of us water signs struggle to kind of be confident because we feel so much and i've had people say like really nasty things to me because they're not emotionally awake you know 
And it's really just standing in your power and saying, look, I'm going to be myself. I don't care what you think. And as long as I see myself in a good light, that's all that matters. So it could be somebody coming in, a relationship possibly, a new partnership, who's really somebody who's really good at speaking their truth. So the reason why you may be uh, learning to speak your truth is because you're attracting somebody who also is speaking their truth and you need to be on that wavelength to attract that. So you're leaving the past behind. Oops, my uh, card dropped. Leaving the past behind, no longer feeling the need to stretch and strain and getting so many ideas because you're being your authentic self. You're able to have ideas freely and have so much confidence. And I feel like you're picking up a new hobby as well. And yeah, wow, we've got, we got the Emperor, we have the Queen of Cups, King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So really big energy for you guys, really big energy of change. And the King, the, the Emperor here is Aries, so you can be manifesting in Aries as well. Somebody who really acknowledges how passionate you are and how much you love your craft and what, you're, what you really love. And they really like listening to you. And I feel like some of you guys who are singers, musicians, or who are really into music, this person's going to have a very similar vibe to that and they're going to really listen to what you like to listen to. And if you're a singer, they're going to want to listen to you sing. Things like that. They're just really patiently just sitting and listening to you. And I really love that. What a beautiful energy. So that is your reading, guys. I'm going to do a little bit... Whoa. That was a really strange noise. Did you guys hear that? Made me jump. Whoa. Um, so if you guys would like to uh, listen to the sound healing, I'm going to do that now. If you want to click off now, that's totally fine. I will see you in my next video. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. Thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Group number four, let's do your sound healing today. Let's get you some nice calming vibes. So sit back and relax. Okay, group number four, thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon.